launch a lo-fi YouTube channel in seconds with AI. So this YouTube channel is interesting. It only has six videos over the past four weeks, yet it already has millions of views and over 100,000 subscribers. And as per Social Blade, it's already making $800 to $12,000 a month. And I think it's created with AI. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to create your own. So if in case you haven't seen this YouTube channel pop up in your recommended videos yet in YouTube, it's basically a lo-fi music channel. It's called What Is with really interesting thumbnails and really interesting YouTube titles, which is contributing to its success. And if you take a listen, you'll basically hear that it's all lo-fi music. It's actually pretty catchy. But when I did a bit more research, I found that there's actually others like this who are now capitalizing on this space. So this one's also pretty recent, only 11 videos, but already with 25,000 subscribers. And it's the same thing. It's lo-fi music with really catchy titles, really catchy thumbnails. And I think there's an opportunity here for us to automate it with AI. And if in case you don't know the level of quality that today's AI tools can do when it comes to music, have a listen to one of them. Now that sounds really good to me, something I'll put on the background myself. And I just generated 30 plus of those songs using the automation that I'm about to teach you today. So in this lesson, you'll learn how to launch your own lo-fi YouTube channel in seconds using this AI automation. And the tools we're going to use are ChatGPT, Suno AI to generate the music, and make.com to orchestrate the whole automation. And to help make it easier, I've made the resources and instructions and all the prompts, plus the blueprint template available here in our community, which you can just find in the video's description under, so that you can literally just download this blueprint template file. And in make.com, once you import that, it will actually create the automation for you. So you can just find it here in the community, which is now a growing group with around 200 plus members. And here you'll find the lessons that we are going through today, plus dozens others that deal with AI and automation to teach you, including all the templates and including all the resources that you would need to get started. And also you can get connected with people who are as passionate about AI as us. All right, let's dive in. So there's three steps to this whole lesson. And the first step is for us to generate the songs. So our end in mind is to have this collection of mp3 files in our Dropbox that has songs which we just generated from our automation. You can see the almost last step here in the automation is uploading the mp3 files to Dropbox, which is that step. But the very first thing we want to do is to set up this Google Sheets. And I'll just show you what it looks like from my side, where you basically have four columns, once an index going from 1 to 30, a status of either done or to do, the title of the song and a prompt. And basically what this is doing is passing on this prompt to the make.com automation so that it can generate a song using this input automatically. Now in the community, we have this template already available. So just click on that and click on file and click make a copy so that you can have this template already available for you. Now the next question is how do you actually get a prompt and title. So obviously you can fill it in yourself. With ChatGPT, there's now an automated way to do it. So you just go to ChatGPT and I copied this prompt from our community. And just to go through this prompt, you can see that I'm giving it instructions of the fact that I'm generating music for my lo-fi music channel. You can insert your channel's name here. And then these two, you can change. So for this one, let's do one that has a theme of whiskey or uh, scotch. And then this piece you can leave as is. And now you can see with that prompt, it is giving me recommended titles and a song prompt for each of those songs that we're about to generate. So just copy that over to the template. And with that, we're now ready to dive into creating our make.com automation. So if in case you don't have a make.com account yet, you can find the link to sign up for free in the video description. And once you're in your dashboard, just click on create a new scenario. And if you're part of the community and you have the template, just click on the ellipsis here at the bottom, click on import blueprint and choose this file. If you click on save, 
it will automatically create the automation for you. Now that makes things a lot easier, but I'll actually go to setting up the whole automation from scratch because I think it's a good learning experience for everyone watching. And the first thing you want is to set up a repeater and just have it at initial value as one and repeat 30 times depending on the number of songs that you're about to generate. And then set up your first module with Google Sheets. And then you would want the search rows module. And if in case you haven't connected Google Sheets yet, just click on add and that takes you to a pop-up with a Google single sign-on. And what you want to do here is just find the spreadsheet that you just created, which would be this one for me. Sheet name would be sheet one if you haven't changed that. And then for the filter, you would want the status to find the ones that are saying to do, which is basically this column right here. Just order it by row number, change the field type to number, and the limit to one. So this is important so that it only passes on one row at a time. So that is already done. Now the next module you would want is the HTTP module, and you want to get the make a request function. Now what this module will do is we will get the prompt from Google Sheets and pass it on to Suno's API. So very quick background, if in case you don't know Suno, it's basically a music generation tool that you can try out via their website in suno.com. But to automate it, we will actually use a third-party tool that connects to Suno under the hood, which is in this URL, app.piapi.ai. So if you go to that link and sign up, then that will get you set up for our next steps. So back to make. To fill this in, you would want the URL to be pointing to this PIAPI URL. So just pause on this and type that out exactly. You would want the method to be post. And for the header, type in X API key. And for the value, you would need to pass in the unique API key that PI API will provide you. So if you go here, find the Suno audio model, go to playground, you want to go ahead and click on copy for this API key. So you would want to paste it here, set this body type as raw. For the content type, select JSON. And under request content, just head over to the Pi API documentation in the link in the video description and copy this example here. Then paste that in there. And what you would want to do is replace this GPT description prompt from whatever was provided into this prompt from your Google Sheet. So now what that will do is now pass on that information from the Google Sheet into Suno. Hit parse responses yes and click OK. So the next module that you want to add is called sleep. And what it basically does is it waits for this many seconds before it goes to the next module. And for now, I just put in 50 seconds here, click OK. And then the next thing you would want is another HTTP module, but select make an API key auth request. And for credentials, just click on add. Change this API key parameter name to lowercase. And under this key, put in the same key that you have from Pi API. And click on create. So you can see I already have that created here. So I'll just select that. And what you just want to do here is just put in this URL. And then at the end, you would want to append it with this task ID coming from the previous module. So click on OK. And then add a module called match pattern. And for this pattern, paste this string of text exactly. So feel free to pause here if you want to type this out. But I also have it in our community if you need it. And just leave all of these radio boxes as is. But for the text, you would want to get the data from the previous HTTP module, which is this one. Click on OK. So now it's probably good if you test this out. But if you want to test it out, make sure to set the repeater to only run once or else it's going to run 30 times, which you don't want. So if I now set this to run once, if I click on run for this one, you can see that it got the first row of our Google Sheet. And this is the prompt that was generated by ChatGPT earlier. It made a request to Suno's API. If it's status code 200, that means it completed successfully. And if you unpack this 
data output, you can see it provided you with a task ID, which tells you that it's now generating in the background. So now the automation is just waiting for Suno to create the music. And once that's done, it will now proceed to this step where it will get the song URL. And if you see status code of 200, that means it got it successfully. And if you unpack data, you'll see a lot of information there, which it passed on to this text parser module, which gave us this URL from that long piece of text. And if you copy this and place it in your browser, you would ideally be able to play the music that you just generated. So that's a good way to check that that is done. So you can rearrange this similar to what I did just for easier follow through. Now, the remaining modules are now going to be quite easy once you get to this step. It would just be for you to get a file using the HTTP module, so you want this one. And for the URL, you just get the URL coming from the text parser orange module, click OK. And then finally, you now call in the Dropbox module where you would want to upload a file. If in case you don't have your Dropbox connected yet, just click on Add. It will guide you through it. And then for the folder, choose the folder that you would want to put things in. You choose the folder that you would want. Click on Map. Have the data be this one, which is the data under the module that you just created from before. And then for the file name, just so that you can name it properly, I like to use the index from the Google Sheet, type in an underscore, and then the title, which ChatGPT provided us, and then type .mp3. And that basically allows us to title our songs properly when it gets to Dropbox. Click OK. Now, finally, you would want to add in an update row Google Sheet module find the same template that you were working with from last time, the same sheet. And for the row number, you need to find the row number from the very first module that you created, which is this one. And then you would update the status to done. And now you have the automation all set up. And what that will basically do, if you try to run it once and it completes, you can see that it updated your Google Sheet to mark this prompt as done. And if you head over to where you saved it in your Dropbox, you can see that new file that has been uploaded. So now for you to batch create all 30 songs, you would now set this back to 30, click OK, and then click Run. And that should allow you to generate dozens of songs right into your Dropbox account. Now, two things to make your experience easier. One is make.com does time out after five minutes. So after like five songs, it times out. In that case, just click on run once again or schedule it every 15 minutes or so by turning it on like this one. And then you can just leave it and it will auto-generate for you. Now, that five-minute timeout duration only exists on the free plan. So if you want to generate without any interruption, then there's an option to subscribe to make, but you don't have to. And then the second thing to take note of is PI API. They do have some free credits when you sign up, but for you to actually generate a lot of songs, you'll need to top up at least $5, and that should be enough for a lot of use cases already. So you can see here, I topped up $5. I generated already like maybe close to 60 to 80 songs at this point, and it only cost me like 80 cents. So that's not really a big blocker for most people, I think. But there, once you have this automation ready, you can just run it every time, follow the same process, and have songs ready to go for you. So with those songs, you can actually just decide what you want to do with them for the video, at least for us to recreate what the YouTube channel What Is did. We can just generate a similar image that they used for the thumbnail. So what you would want to do is go to ChatGPT, paste in a prompt like this one, and if I hit that, it will actually give me an image that is quite workable in terms of the aesthetic. So just feel free to repeat this as many times as you want until you get the image that you like. 
and once you're satisfied, save that to your computer. You can also use designer.microsoft.com to generate images if you want, but usually ChatGPT does it much better. So now that you have an image and the songs, how do you now create the video? So it's just a matter of putting them together in a video editing tool. And the one I really use because it's free and quite intuitive is called DaVinci Resolve. So just go ahead and download that and install that if you haven't yet. And once you're in DaVinci Resolve, just import that photo and all of the songs that you have. Create a new timeline by going to File or just hit Control N. And if you go to this Edit tab, just select all of your music, put that over to the audio, have the image available here, and then just drag it over up until the end to fill up the whole hour. And there you go. It's an hour long video that has lo-fi music for you to chill out to and upload to your YouTube channel. So if you click on preview, that's actually sounding really good. So for you to render it, just click this deliver button at the bottom, click on the YouTube preset, have a file name for it, browse a location, and then everything else here should be okay. Add it to render queue, and then click render all. And there you go, you now have a full one hour video where the image and the music is generated by AI. And you can just repeat this process for however many videos that you want with as many themes that you want and just upload to YouTube consistently. And if you pair it with a really good caption and a really good thumbnail, then you'll be on your way to growing your lo-fi YouTube channel organically. So there, if you like this lesson, please like or subscribe. That helps us a lot. And if in case you want to learn more about AI and automation, check out our community for tutorials like this one with all the resources as well as a thriving network of like-minded people who also are learning about AI. See you in the next lesson. Thank you. Also, just to note, this part, as you can see, generating the image as well as creating the video is manual at the moment, but there are ways to automate it. So if there's interest to that, I can maybe make a version two where everything is automated from the beginning until end, and it just gives you the actual video as the final output. So let me know if that is something that you guys are interested in learning.